<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Life of Zero, issue number three by Ablaze Comics, made by Stefano Fietti and Marco Cecchetto, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, uh, when I reviewed issue one, I think, yeah, this is a cool premise. And then issue two is, yeah, yeah it could be better, not, not that good. And then we have this one. And I have a lot to say about this one, and not in a good way. So, uh, let's start when we left off. So, in the last issue, uh, Zar uh, is being getting killed by Shako. Um, that's the captain. But uh, I find it strangely, it says here Shako, but there is still, to today, no mention about this name. I mean, it's Captain Derek. Everybody called him Captain or Derek. Uh, maybe Shako is his last name, I don't know, but it's, there's no mention about that this guy is named Shako. So, uh, Tsar uh, is, is uh, I mean, Roni was the best friend of Tsar and the captain just shot him uh, in the face because he was infected. And we see here, uh, Roni just still in shock. Meanwhile, outside, when people are still, you know, are on the middle of the fucking road in the, um, you know, in a zombie infested town, you know, they are not hiding, they are no, you know, standing in corners and, or out of plain sight. No, just standing in the middle and broad daylight or nighttime or whatever it is. I'm not sure if it's day or nighttime. It's a little bit weird. So, um, Mitchell here says something about, well, it's, uh, what's the, what's the, what's the holdup? They are, uh, they're wasting time, a lot of time. And then, uh, Helena says, um, well, not everyone is like you, Mitchell. She said, what are you talking about? He said that you are a fucking loner with no family and no friends, you know, suggesting that he cannot know what people are feeling and, and you know, and that because he has no connection with, you know, human beings, which is a little bit harsh in my opinion, but hey, okay. And then he, um, you know, talks back to her about that she is just, you know, hooking up with guys that she also not caring and that she's kicking him out, out of her house when she's done with them. And uh, so they're bickering here, and then uh, Derek comes in and says, uh, hey, quit it and stay focused. So uh, Mitchell says, with all due respect, Captain, but you just shot one of our men, one of the team. And uh, Derek says, uh, would, you let, would you let have him transform? He says, no. Um, so there wasn't another way to put him to rest right? No, there wasn't. And they walk off. I actually agree with Derek. I mean, yeah, if there's somebody is infected with the zombie virus, uh, there's no coming back. Uh, so you need to put him out of his misery. Although it was a little bit out of the blue. And I'm coming back to a little bit later about what I'm trying to say. But then, one of my uh, first big gripes. So they say... Um, so they go to the social worker where their daughter is being held by, you know... Uh, safely by the social worker. And then Anna, or um, Helena, is that, no, sorry, Lara, oh, who else is, um, it's a 15-minute walk. Now, wait a minute. So in the last issue, they go, go from, I don't know, the prison to the drop points, to the, to the drop zone here, where they are now, in this diner. So you're telling me that the... Uh, uh, the place where you actually need to go is a 50-minute walk. Why did you took the car instead of, you know, go to here? Why didn't you drive five minutes a little bit further to where she, uh, where your daughter is, wasting precious time going to the drop-off? That's so stupid. And they're still walking in the middle of the road within a, in this zombie-infested town. Um... So, um, also, um, I got something to say about the coloring, uh, more like a, the Photoshop guy. So Derek says to his team, hey, just stay here, and uh, we're going up and get, the, get, the, get their child, you know. Um, so Rooney says, it's not necessary to, to tell us what to do, Captain. Let's just move. Yeah, Rooney's still being depressed that he's just shot his best friend, which I can't imagine. So... Um, now you see here this little of a smudge of a blood. Now I like things when things are drawn, you know, you know, have black borders around it and then put a little bit red, like a red blood puddle. And just here's just some blood spatters with Photoshop guy. This here 
and they look at here, but I don't know what it is. Is this what what is this? Is this a chair? What is this? I have no clue. This it's just wasting. Um, anyway, and then we have this picture here with all the smoke, and you clearly see that this is just not belong in here. This is just Photoshop guy just doing doodle here, doodle there. Um, I don't like that at all. It just, it just feels so out of place. Uh, also, Laura says at one time, um, how many stairs? And Derek says, well, no, it's just only two and we're already here. Um, how does Derek know that? Because Helena didn't tell Derek about the stairs. Uh, is, is it that... Uh, Derek was once upon a time in the home of the social worker or not because as far as I know from the beginning he was in jail like days, months, weeks, I'm not sure. Uh, how does he know how many stairs he needs to take if he has not never been there? Which is weird. It's a little bit nitpicking but it doesn't you know add up. I mean she is the one that where you know knows where she, her daughter is. He don't. As, although maybe they talk about this off screen, you know, uh, I don't know. It's just weird. So um, moving on. So there's a woman here. So they are here and there's bodies everywhere with the zombies and are dead. And um, she says, uh, they saw, she saw us. And he says, put the gun away. No shooting. So he takes the axe and he cleans her, you know, in the brain. It looks real good. And also, but hey, surprise, there's more zombies. So... Um, he says, and so they are going into, um, I don't know, panic mode, if you will. Well, so they, uh, he says, shoot the lock. Uh, so she does it and kicks in the door and they are, uh, you know, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the room that, she, uh, that they are need to be. But then, <laughs> um, so Derek uh, just, you know, closes the door while try to close the door and the zombies try to get in. And, and then Laura, uh, Helena does something stupid. Uh, Derek says, wait, Laura, don't go by yourself. And yeah, you can see what's happening. I mean, what is going on with these people, man? I mean, again, zombie infested. There are zombies everywhere in every fucking corner. There is standing a zombie trying to kill you. You just walk into the room. Don't look left. Don't look to the right. You know, just, just shouting. At, oh God. And then she's getting attacked, but then... Um, she barely uh, saves herself by shooting this guy in the face, or her, I'm sorry, she's a social worker. So um, her daughter comes out, and then we move on to the uh, the rest of the team, which is something weird happens again uh, when it comes to the writing. So uh, we see, um, let me, uh, Mitchell and Helena, so they're looking for the car, right? You know, a big sturdy car, and then she just, Take out her, I don't know, a telephone and uses whatever app to trace a car that is in a parking lot. How, how does that work? Do you type in a big sturdy car and in the range of uh, two miles and then suddenly there's a, there's a car where it's just, how? Okay, but then, then she says to uh, Roni, keep watch out here, Mitchell and I going in. Why? Why did you... Not to take Roni with you. I mean, strength in numbers, right? Okay, okay. Comics. So, um, uh, so they're looking for a car, and uh, she says, "Hey, how about this one?" So uh, Mitchell says, "Perfect. It also has snow tires." But then she says, "Snow tires? You're such a geek." Now wait a minute. So if somebody has a lot of knowledge about cars and tires and maybe other stuff. That's not being a geek. That has, you know, that is more like you having knowledge about something that is really important. And yeah, Mitchell just shuts her up and she says, geek my ass. We need to run and these tires will all make the difference. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay. Uh, moving again with the weird stuff. So she is being on the lookout while he is just, you know, try to uh, fix the car. And then she just using the goggles, the infrared goggles, but... Now, it, I could be wrong. I don't have much knowledge about infrared and how it works. But isn't it so that if you have infrared goggles on your nose, the you need to see clear and picture perfect? 
then if that's the case, why do we have all these fucking weird smoke effects in front of your nose? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Oh. Uh, so um, he uh, checked, you know, he just starts the car and the alarm goes off. And then, <laughs> okay, zombies are coming. Helena is, uh, I mean, what's her name? Uh, Helena is shooting. And there's a lot of zombies coming. And she's still standing there, shooting, 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 shooting. And she still stands there, not moving a fucking inch. So these zombies are coming closer and closer and closer. Um, so Mitchell is, is, you know, start the car. And he says, what are you doing? Get in the car. And she says, panics, help me, they're everywhere. And they grab her. And then... Mitchell is panicking and he drives away while the rest of the zombies kill his teammates. I mean... Oh my god. These people are high trained soldiers. These are military or are spec ops. I have no clue what they are, but they are highly trained zombie, uh, military guys with a lot of experience. They, they were in, I don't know, the, the Middle East fighting there. They are now in an, again in an, an inf zombie infested town that has been closed off from the outside. And they are doing fucking rookie mistakes. I don't get it at all. At all. Um, he could be panicking or maybe he's just pissed off that he is, you know, busting his balls all the time as we see earlier. And then he's just pissed off. But he looks scared and he's just... Okay, so the zombies are going in in the, in the, in the apartment and uh, Derek, um, Derek uh, kills the zombies and, 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 and uh, what's her name? Laura? I forget these names, man. It's, it's, it's just, I'm not invested anymore. So talks to her daughter and she says uh, that the social worker is, is being turned and she says to her daughter, Anna, she didn't do anything to you, right? Only a bite, mom. And yeah, she's been infected. And then Derek says, cover it. And they have to cover it quickly. But then Rooney uh, comes in and says, no need to cover it. <laughs> and, he sh and Rooney shoots the <laughs> their daughter. And she's dead. And we see the bullet flying out of the window with blood. <laughs> <laughs> This is so, out oh God, this is so bad, but cool at the same time. Uh, yeah, why, 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 why show this? This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't add anything. Also, Photoshop guy just, you know, show some blood spatters, but the artist didn't, you know, took the time to see the uh, exit wound, you know, no brain matter, no skull busting open. Also, what's with the weird perspective? Anna is here, and when Rooney shoots her, he is across the room. She's across the room. I mean, there's a couple, I don't know, six meters or something, five meters? I don't know. It's just... and But instead of, you know, um, Derek and, and, and his wife screaming and yelling, they're just sitting there uh, in silence. And, and Rooney says, um, Helena didn't make it. They got to her, but we got the car. Mitchell is waiting for us. <laughs> And he says, don't look at her, Lara. I said, don't look at her. Go with, down with Roni. I'm coming. This is, this is so bad. This is atrocious writing. Um, I looked up reviews. And there's a guy with a lot of subscribers. And, you know, no, no hate towards him. Um, but I see a lot of people praising this book. Like it's the best thing ever. Oh, you need to buy it. Why? Why do you need to buy it? I mean, uh, of course, reviews and opinions are just opinions and mine is not set in stone. And you could disagree with me, but I show you a lot of here that suggests that this is not really good writing. I mean, these are not civilians. These are highly trained soldiers doing stupid stuff. And I believe, but I could be wrong, you know, just like in the, in the second issues when um, Derek shot Zach in the face of the last issue, last page. Um, now is Rooney is you know turning the tables and you know shooting the daughter without a second of a thought, and I really like that. But at the same time, 
this is pure shock value. What's going on this whole book, you know, with with the teammates, you know, being left uh, left behind and standing there shooting, not moving at all. This is not highly trained soldiers. These are stupid people doing stupid stuff. And I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Just like here. Uh, so I'm going to give it a down. Um, I'm not sure if I'm picking up Life Zero 4. Maybe. Maybe I do. I mean, I like the promise, but this... I'm, I'm I'm not behind what's going on here now. So uh, we'll see what happens. Guys, thank you so much for waiting, uh, waiting, <laughs> watching the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.